Salmud Bavli, Mar Brachot, Perik Sushi, Daf Chaf Vav Amud Aleph, Chapter 3, Page 26a. I'm just going to start with the last couple of words on the previous page. Amar Rava, Rava said, Glima, a cloak, a kamtera, if a cloak is draped over a cabinet in which the holy books are kept, Kihle beto kalidame is like a receptacle within a receptacle. Amar Rabbi Yosho ben Levi, Rabbi Yosho ben Levi said, Sefer Torah, whereas for a Torah scroll, Tsarichla sotalo machitza asara, it is necessary for, to make for it a petition, at least ten fachim high, um, before a couple are allowed to engage in marital relations in that room. Marzutra ikla leve ravashi. Marzutra said, visited the home of Ravashi. Chazie le duchte de mar bar ravashi. And he saw in the place in the bedroom of mar bar ravashi, ravashi's son. De manach be sefer Torah that a Torah scroll is kept there. Vavid le mechitza asra. And a petition of ten fachim was made for it. Amale Mazucha said Ravashi Kaman in accordance with whom um, uh, is it arranged this way, Karabi Yoshua ben Levi is in accordance with Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi. Ema to Amma Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi say that what Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi has said uh, regarding the Tentvachim partition, delay to lay beta achrina where one has no other house. One has no other house. In which to uh, where no one where there is no other place or house to put the Torah scroll. Mar ha'it le beta achrina master, however, has another house in which to put the Torah scroll. So you don't necessarily you shouldn't necessarily rely on putting up a petition. Amale Ravashi said to Marzutra, Lav Adatai, I did not think of that. The Mishnah says. Kama yarchik mehen umin hatsoa arba arba amot. How much must one distance himself from them, that is urine, uh, and from excrement before saying Shema? Four amot. Amar Rava, Amar Rav Schora, Amar Rav Huna. Rava said in the name of Rav Schora, who said in the name of Rav Huna, Lo shanu ela laacharav Mishnah, which says that four amot away is sufficient. This is a reference only to where it's behind him. But if it is in front of him, then he, he, he needs to distance himself as far as his eyes can see. And the same applies to Tfilah, to Shimon Ezra. Eini, is this so uh, that it should be, if it's in front of you, it should be as far away as the eyes can see? Baha'amar Rafram bar Papa Amar Rav Chista. Why Rafram bar Papa said in the name of Rav Chista, Omer Adam Keneged Beit Hakiseh Mitpalel. A person may stand opposite a toilet and pray as long as it is for a minute away from him. Hacha Bamai Askinan. Here in Rav Chista's dwelling, with what are we dealing? Beit Hakiseh She'ein Botsua. With a toilet that was clean and does not have any excrement in it. Um, and therefore, for Amot is okay. Any is this so? Vahamar Rav Yosef Bar Chanina. Rav Yosef Bar Chanina said, "Beitaki says Amru, the toilet of which the sages spoke. Afal pi she'ain botso al if there is no excrement in it. Or veitamer chat she'amru, and just like a bathhouse of which the sages were speaking. Afal pi she'ain bo adam if there is no undressed person in it." Uh, so the law is the same. Ela hacha b'may askinan rather here in Rachlista's ruling. With what are we dealing? Bechadati. So we're dealing with new toilets that have been designated but not yet used. Bahami baye leila ravina. Ravina inquired. His mino levita kise mahu, if one designated an area as a toilet, what is the law? Yesh simon or ein simon, is there a designation or no designation? Kika mi bae le ravina, 
What does Ravina inquire? Le me kamale le tsaluye begave regarding standing there to praying inside of it. Aval kenegdo lo, but opposite it, Ravina did not uh, think about this possibility. That uh, designation makes it forbidden. Amarava Rava said, Hane bate kisae de farsae, the toil to the Persians. Afal gav de it behut even though there is excrement inside of them, kis tumin damu are regarded as closed up. And therefore you can say shma, um, and uh, you can say shma and pray opposite them or even in them. Mishnah. Zav Shara Keri, a Zav who experienced a seminal discharge, Venida Shepalta Shikhvat Zera, and Anida who emits semen, uh, that was from an act of, of um, sexual relations, Vehameshameshet Shara Tanida, and a woman who had intercourse and then saw Nida blood, Trichin Tvila, the need to all these uh, need to immerse in a mikvah before saying words of Torah. The Rabbi Yehuda Potter, Rabbi Yehuda exempts from immersion Gemara. Ibaya lehu, they inquired, Ba'al keri shara aziva le Rabbi Yehuda mahu. Rabbi Yehuda, what is the law about a Balkari who experiences a ziva discharge? So does uh, he need to immerse in a mikvah before saying words of Torah? Ki pata, ki fata rabbi Yehuda hatam. When did Rabbi Yehuda exempt us up from immersion in the Mishnah? Bezav shara keri. This is for a zav who experiences seminal discharge. Deme, deme ikara lav bat filahu. Because at first, when he was a zav, he was not subject to immersion required by Ezra. Um, aval ba'al keri shirai ziva, but for a bal keri who emits a ziva discharge, deme ikara bar tevila hu, where at first he was subject to immersion, according to Ezra, mechayev, uh, in this case, Rav Yoda would obligate to immerse, even after his azav, before, um, before saying words of Torah. O dilmaloshna, perhaps there is no difference. Uh, so long as the person is a Zav and a Balkari, maybe he's not subject to a, a Ezra's decree. Tashma, come and learn a proof from our, from our Mishnah. Hamesh Hameshed, Verata Nida, a woman who had intercourse and then saw Nida blood. Sri Chatvila, she must immerse in a mikvah before saying words of Torah. The Rabbi Yoda Potter and Rabbi Yoda exempts her from immersion. The Hamesh Hameshed, Verata Nida. So a woman who has intercourse and then becomes a nida, keval keri shara ziva damya, is comparable to a balkari who emits a ziva discharge. So in both cases, the person already contracted tuma of keri before they contracted tuma of greater severity. The ka pata rabbi yoda, and for rabbi yoda, exempts a woman from immersion. Shmami now we confer from here that rabbi yoda would also exempt uh, immersion of a, for a Balkari who later was a Ziva, who, who emitted a Ziva. Tane Rabbi Chia Behedia, Rabbi Chia explicitly taught this in a Baraisa, Baal Keri Shira Ziva, a Balkari who emits a Ziva discharge, Tarikh Tfila is required to immerse himself before saying words of Torah. The Rabbi Yoda Pote, Rabbi Yoda exempts from immersion. So this is clear that Rabbi Yoda does not require Ezra's immersion in this type of case. Haderach alecha mi shmato.